Hey there, Kelly Sparta again. So last time we talked, we talked about holding relationships lightly, and I realized that I had more to say. So I'm doing a second part to this. And the, the piece that I want to cover this time is simply the idea of how you're holding your relationships. So I told you about how to not be stuck in your relationships, how to take your power back and how to do all of that. The, the next piece I want to talk about is how do you how do you not give over your entire self to your partner in such a way that if you break up or God forbid they die, that you are not okay. Okay, now I'm not going to say that, that you're not going to grieve. You will absolutely grieve. If you have the love of your life die, they will ab you will absolutely grieve. Um, if the love of your life breaks up with you, you will absolutely grieve. Even if somebody you don't even know if it's the love of your life that you really liked, or maybe even loved, breaks up with you or dies, you're going to have a grieving process. However, the difference here is in buying into the fairy tale of happily ever after and forever, the word forever, right? Because by the nature of the fact that we are mortal, all relationships will end. I'm going to say that again, by the nature of the fact that we are mortal, all relationships will end, whether they end through a breakup through or through death, they will end. Okay, so yeah, I don't care if you're in the same soul family, whatever, from the perspective of being on the planet, right, your relationship is going to come to an end at some point. Okay, and so it is super helpful to not get stuck in this needy, uh, dependent place. If you keep that in mind if you practice the idea that this person may not be here one day. Not that you're manifesting it, but you just try it on every now and again. And you're like, okay, so at some point this person will go away. And how do I need to hold myself in this relationship right now in order for me to be okay when that happens? Because it's not an if, it's a when, right? And so that's what I mean by holding the relationship lightly. It's about not making your identity dependent upon the relationship. It's about not making your sense of well being dependent upon the relationship. It's about uh, finding an identity of your own that is yours, regardless of whether you're in the relationship or not. It is about finding uh, a, a way to feel loved and cared for whether you're in a relationship or not. It's about finding a way to love yourself so that you don't have to have someone else telling you that you're worthy of love in order for you to feel lovable. These are all ways in which you learn to stand on your own while in partnership with another, okay? It also makes you easier to partner with because uh, if, if you've never seen the Shell Silver, Silverstein uh, video of the missing piece, I highly encourage you to go out and find it. I will put a link in, in the uh, description and in the show notes so that you can go find that. The, there is a video online with it. But it talks about the missing piece and trying to find a piece that is exactly the right piece for the for your empty missing spot, right? And the fact that it's so hard to find somebody who fits exactly right, you know, and the, the fact that if you instead feel your own missing spot and you heal yourself and you become whole, then you can find another whole person to roll along in life with and life is easier and the relationship is easier and you're all you're cho choosing to be together in partnership rather than dependent upon each other for, you know, you complete me, right? Uh, and so when, when you can be whole unto yourself, you're, you're not dependent upon the other person. And so these are just healthier ways to be in relationships. So I want you to consider that. And that's the episode for this time. So if you're looking to heal that inner peace, 
uh, and, and that's P-I-E-C-E, -E, then you may want to take a look at the Inner Peace P-E-A-C-E -E program. <laughs> so that program is a four-month program where we deal with uh, your fear, your anxiety, your worry, your dread, your self-doubt, your inner and outer judgments. And we build a foundation of self-support and courage while at the same time teaching you a whole shebang of uh, energetic skills that will help you to solidify your sense of, of emotional safety. And it is the first step in healing your life. Uh, and so I highly recommend it. People love it. The testimonials are amazing. Feel free to check them out on the website at kellyspardo.com. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.